In this video, I am going to discuss about sampling distribution of mains with replacement. So, we will consider an example here a population consists of 5 numbers 2, 3, 6, 8, and 11, and consider all the possible samples of size 2, which can be drawn with replacement. And so, here we are going to solve problem with replacement from this population and here what we have to find? We have to find the mean of the population that is given by mu, standard deviation of the population which is given by sigma and mean of the sampling distribution of means is given by mu x bar and last standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means is given by sigma x bar. So, we will solve one by one. So, first I will write down what is given. So, he has given 5 numbers n equal to 5 and the size is given as 2. We have to consider samples of size 2 and the numbers given are 2, 3, 6, 8 and 11. Now, first we will find out mean of the population. So, first we will find out mean of the population. Mu is equal to 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 by n and n is equal to 5. So, 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 11 by 5 which is equal to 30 by 5 and is equal to 6. So, mean is equal to 6. Now, we will find out the standard deviation of the population. So, to find the standard deviation of population, find out the variance and take the square root of the variance to find standard deviation. So, variance sigma square is equal to summation of x i minus mu whole square by n. So, this is equal to 2 minus and we know that mean is equal to 6. So, so 2 minus 6 whole square plus 3 minus 6 whole square plus 6 minus 6 whole square, 8 minus 6 whole square plus 11 minus 6 whole square by 5. So, this is equal to, so we will have minus 4 square, so 16 plus minus 3 square is 9 plus 0, 8 minus 6 is 2, so 4 plus 11 minus 6 is 5 square is 25 divided by 5. On simplifying, this is equal to 10.8. So, variance sigma square is equal to 10.8. Now, we will find out the standard deviation. Standard deviation is equal to root of 10.8 which is equal to 3.29. So, we see that mean of the population mu is equal to 6 and standard deviation of the population sigma is equal to 3.29. Now, we will find out mean and standard deviation of the sampling distributions. So, since here we are finding with, a, with replacement, so the samples of size 2 with replacement is equal to n power n which is equal to 5 to the power of 2 that is 25. So, we have to write down 25 samples and then find the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means. With placement, we will have 25. So, 3 2, 3 3, 3 6, 3 8, 3 11. Then we have 6 2, 6 3, 6, 6, 11, 2, 8, 3, 8, 6, 8, 8 and 8, 11 and last 5 are 11, 2, 11, 3, 
11 6, 11 8 and 11 11. Now, we will find out the means of this sample means. So, uh, samples of size 2. So, sample means are given by So, we have we have to take the mean of this. So, 2 plus 2 by 2. So, 2 then 5 by 2 that is 2.5 then it is 8 by 2 which is 4 then 10 by 2 is 5 and here 13 by 2 is 6.5. Similarly, finding out we will have 5 by 2. So, this is 2.5 then we have 3 9 by 2 which is 4.5 then it is 11 by 2 which is 5.5 and and 14 by 2 is 7 then we have 8 by 2 so this is 4 then we have 9 by 2 which is 4.5 then 6 6 is 6 6 plus 8 14 by 2 is 7 and 6 plus 11, 17 by 2 is 8.5, remaining also similarly 5, 5.5, 5, 7, 8, 9.5, then 6.5, 7, 8.5, 9.5 and last 11. So, these are the sample means. So, mean of the sampling distribution of means is given. Mu x bar which is equal to sum, sum of the sample means by number of the samples that is 25. So, here sum of the sample means that is we have to add all these values. So, 2 plus 2.5 plus 4 plus so on and the last value plus 0.5 plus 9.5 plus 11 by 25. Adding up all these values and dividing by 25 will be equal to 6. This is equal to 150 by 25, which is equal to 6. So, here mu x bar should be equal to this. We have already seen that the sample mean mu is 6. So, mu is equal mu x bar is equal to 6 is equal to mu. So, mean of the population and mean of the sampling distribution of means should be same. So, mu is equal to 6. Now, I will find out the of sampling distribution of means. So, here also I will find out the variance then find out the uh, standard deviation. So, standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means. Find out variance which is equal to sigma x bar square. So, same summation of x i minus mu x bar, mu x bar whole square by 25. So, this will be equal to 2 minus 6 whole square plus 2.5 minus 6 whole square plus 4 minus 6 whole square plus so on. So, we have to write down all for all the 25 samples. So, this plus so on plus 8.5 minus 6 whole square plus 9.5 minus 6 whole square plus 11 minus 6 whole square divided by 25. And on simplifying this, this will equal to sigma x bar square is equal to 5.40. Now, we have to find out the standard deviation from this variance we have to find the standard deviation. So, standard deviation of the sampling distribution of mean x bar is equal to root of 
four zero, which is equal to two point three two. And here, mean of the mean of the population and sample mean of the sampling distribution of means should be same. But when we come to the standard sigma x bar is be equal to sigma by root n. So, sigma we found sigma is 3.29, 3.29 by and this n is the size of the sample, so root 2. So, 3.29 by root 2 should be equal to 2.9. So, what we have seen that mean of the population is same as the mean of the sampling distribution of means and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of means is given by sigma by root n. So, this is how we find sampling distribution of means with replacement. Thank you.